Hello everybody, and welcome back to Gauntlet Dark Legacy. As always, I'm your host, Greenleaf. This time we're on to level 2 of the Forsaken Province. By the way, that's what this uh, area is called. That's why it says province. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Uh, more murdering zombies! Back to your face. Well, bomb to your face, more like it. Rusteroni, Mr. General. Ah. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> saying about this game, uh, well, not all food can be found at ground level. Uh, he actually killed his own dude. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I will say one thing. The music in this game is honestly really great. And I didn't know I even needed that. Oh, wait, no, that's me. I remember that. Okay. Oh, come on. I got a, uh, what is this thing? It's, uh, it's not the rapid fire, it's like, see, you move faster and stuff. Uh, oh, one thing, um, uh, one thing is, um, I'll be, I can get a Phoenix Familiar, um, to power us. Um, at certain, at a certain level, once again, I really have to redo my research into this game, like, sort of levels and stuff. Because I can remember it from, you know, like, I just, like, ow, that was me being a dumbass. Like, I know at, like, at certain points, you get, like, I get, a, I'll get, like, a familiar, and then that will level up into a stronger one. Better are you going? Uh, you know, like certain, at a certain level, my magic will, you know, bust traps. Um, uh, yeah, this is the other part of the game. Ow. Why do I run into barrels that explode? Yeah. And after you collect all the crystals, you know, for the realms, then, uh, you don't really need to, uh, collect anymore. But they'll still pick up. One of the things I keep forgetting is, uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. You do have, um, one of the things I have been doing is strafing. Well, I suppose this would be more strafing, but... Me just doing this whole sort of dodge troll. Yeah, see? Um, you have some sort of, like, I guess it's a dodge. I know there's a specific there's a tech for it, but... There's that, and then there's the block um, ability, which is R2, but I'm using an Xbox controller, so... Oh, wait, that's junk. Uh, right, there's, uh, there's junk in this game. Like, there's gold and then there's that. Just junk. And depending on your character, it can do one of two things. It could either give you, like, ten gold, which isn't really a whole lot. Or, um, or it'll take away ten. I 
I shouldn't be killing Down those for what comes next. Behold! The Thunder Hammer. Why is it called the Thunder Hammer? Well, this is why. And yes, I know I wasted that magic. It's for demonstrative purposes! Let's see. Is that crystal there? Just whack you. Limited use. That is still weird. It in the first playthrough, like you can hear the piano music. Like it's coming from the right direction from what I can hear, but then when I get near the piano that's supposed to be playing it, it's coming from off the left here. And then it switches over to where it should be. It's very odd. Maybe it was just a little odd audio trick that uh that the creators of the game had uh done to you know, make it sound like it's been out of there. I, I'm not too sure. But, it's, honestly, like, the song that the piano's playing, I really enjoy. It's just, it's sort of like, it's that thing like, like songs from the games that get stuck in your head. Oh yeah, that. I can fly, okay? Sort of. I think the whole, like, um, levitation. Oh, that's turbo boost. I don't need that, really. But, um, the whole levitation thing is more for, like, um, so the little maggots don't really poke at my feet. Ah, uh, I forgot about that. Pop that, because that drops that, grab that, because otherwise that rolls over that and stops on it, see? Oh yeah, ow. One of the neat things is, um, your, yeah, your shots go, you know, you see they go off screen. Yes, they do. They can go, you know, up and down. Okay, if I remember correctly, that's time stop. Don't need that yet. Come on! There it goes. Yeah. The weird thing is, like, they designed this to not be able to be walked over to, you know, because it fell away. So then there's that. Oh, wait. I, I always forget. I always think that, uh... Ow. Ow. I don't even know how that got me twice. I always forget that, um... The lever for... Ow. For, uh... For the thing we just pulled down. Up there. I always forget that that's right there. Hey, banana. Ah, fire breath. I think most of like the whole like there are um there are power ups that um you've seen uh Oh jeez. I didn't expect this one this early on. I usually expect it by the second realm. <laughs> this is Pojo the chicken. Um Yeah, I believe Oh jeez, I forget. Um, what, one of the things is um, your oh shit, my meat. If you do poison guests near some foods that might poison them, but um, yeah, the the one neat thing is um, fudge. power ups compound or power power ups combined. Uh, not combined, but like. As y'all saw, I can have Fire Breath and um, Pojo running at the same time. And yeah, he's he's a chicken that breathes fireballs. I really wonder what like you know 
what Midway's thought process was behind Pojo. And maybe I'll meet someone someday who will, you know, tell me, you know, why the chicken? Yeah, and you take back. Oh dear, I've woken up the golem. And that's why I need this, because that something you hear is the golem. And there he is. And yeah, these are golems. They're also another mini boss, but they have health bars. Um, they're. Yeah, there's more than bats and buff. They're mostly annoying, really. Ah, fudge. Yeah, poison gas can get indigested. Well, I guess it can. But, um. Oh, one of the other things is, um. The turbo can be used at any time, as long as the bar's yellow, because, see? If it's yellow, it does a sort of a, it does a area of effect attack, whereas where it's purple, it does just an attack in a straight line. Uh, incoming. Angry dude. There it goes. Come on! There it goes. So that triggered him. Uh, He's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna cover you in smoke. That should wake you up. That's a gargoyle. Yeah, that that's the one. That was also the uh, the other neat thing about this game is um your experience isn't proportional to enemies you kill. It's actually you gain experience while you're killing them. So yeah, like I as you saw, I can level up while, while I'm in the middle of a while I'm in the middle of a murdering an enemy. It's very neat. I believe this is... Ah, it's more magic. There's the explosion. Yeah, if y'all didn't notice earlier, he, uh, he didn't explode. And then he did. And this is the... Um, you know, I'll go in it anyway, even though I've already got the Medusa. Um, this is a secret door. Grab coins and you see the Midway logo. But uh, yeah, these are little mini games designed to uh, get the secret characters. Okay, let's see, go this way. Oh yeah, I forgot. The other thing is, um, if y'all notice, as your characters level up, um, I think it's like every ten levels or so, may or maybe every five. I no, I think it was every ten. Their appearance changes. So as you can see, my jester looks differently now than when we started. And that's a good thing, because I didn't level up too high. There we go. This one's easy, pretty easy. Honestly, I'd say most of them are easy, save for one that we'll cover later in the series. So there's that. And unfortunately, it doesn't end the level. It just brings you right back here and every like other lever you've pulled triggers so that's what all the sounds are and everything that's scripted ha um when you go in everything that's scripted um undoes itself and then when you come out it re-triggers ah look at all that experience what even oh i guess that's like swords and stuff to represent experience you know for stuff you've murdered and yet skulls represent things you've killed too Okay, let's see. Get some keys. Keys are vital in this game because there's like, you have like gates and stuff that you have to get through. Otherwise, you'd have to like leave the level. Um, 
Oh yeah, we've, we've got enough. Now y'all can see me adding something to one of my stats. It's a magic armor, speed, or strength. Um, let's add the speed. What the heck? Oh yeah, I specialize in speed. I, I knew something was up, so next time I'll try and go for armor. Alrighty, and that's that. We're back in the tower. And as for oh, right, Green it is Chester every ten levels. Is now a level prankster. Huh? Yeah, even though you know him doing that doesn't actually do anything, or maybe it does. Like if you hit the level after it, or if you're right on the level as you come out. I'm not too sure. I just know he, you know, he does the little magic -y thing. That's weird, though. He didn't say what level I was. It Normally, he will, but this is also, um, this game is currently an ISO. Well, it's, I'm running it as an ISO, so it may goof, I guess, with the audio bit. Oh, yeah. One thing I forgot to mention. Twirl my just, uh... Oh yeah, as you can see, twirling uses your uh, turbo boost. This is Sumner. This is the guy that you saw level me up. He, yeah, he gives hints. Um, he tells about um, the guardians. Guardians, is that what I general? Uh, yeah, the, the guardians are basically the bosses. Yeah, see, like I said earlier, you know, the items that hurt the bosses are not located in the realms that they're in. Um, items of legend, um, I believe as I collect the items, more info fills in. And then, you know, the rune stones, like, see, the second rune stone. Um, and as you click on them, it cycles through more. And, yeah, that's Sumner. This is the whole rune stone portal. You know, unfortunately, I'll miss uh, the whole animation of it setting on. And yeah, this is where um, Garm summons Scorn and, you know, got his ass kicked. I don't know what's up with this funky uh, carving here. The colors look a lot different, but then again, I'm using the uh, native colors of my NVIDIA graphics card. Down here, we'll explore this later. Yeah, the battlegrounds for Golden Mine Claws. Um, over here, I need Serpent Fangs, or Snake Fangs, and the West Wing. Uh, and, and that'll give me access to, like, three more levels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. And then, you know, the Eagle Feathers for the East Wing. And, yeah, I mean, I can go back down here, because, well, we'll explore more of Sumner's Tower, um, as we progress the game. Anyway... Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. See ya!